We start a new day uh, this Tuesday, June the 19th, with uh, Adopting a Dog. And uh, Bella's in the studio. Uh, she's our mixed breed. What would you call her, Sharon? Sharon uh, Thomas is here from... Uh, she's a pet mix. She's a pet mix with giant dingo ears. Is what I yeah. call it. She has huge ears. <laughs> she that does. That straight up. And it's funny, I don't know, what do you call it, a divining rod? Yeah. When she's putting her face in the wind and feeling it, they come up and they touch. And I was watching her and I said, like, geez, it's like a divining rod. Yeah. And she's a very mellow pit bull mix. She's she's a sweetheart. Is she? Mm -hmm. And uh, does she bark? I mean, is she a barker? She I, I black seriously and white. haven't heard her bark, but I'm imagining that she does. But she's so mellow that we use her for our pet therapy program. We've been bringing her to nursing homes, and she enjoys the ride. She enjoys the company. Um, we go to like there's about seven or eight different nursing homes every week. We bring a different dog to. So How old? Sit. How old about the dog? She, she's, she's probably two to two and a half years old. She came in pretty ragged and tagged, but we're fattening her up, and she's got a very mellow personality. She's really a good dog. Do you think she was abused at any time because of her personality? I, th I think that she lived outside. She's probably one of those dogs that was uh, tied to a tree. You can tell her little elbows are worn out, and usually that's from laying down on the ground or the concrete, and probably. Probably not not taking care of responsibly, I don't think. She really looks great, though. I mean, yeah, the, the, she looks good. I mean, she, she's she, a pretty she, dog. She had uh, skin problems, but that's been resolved, and that's basically from living outside. And you'll see a lot of dogs will come in, they have like sores, scabs on their ears, and that's from being bitten by the flies because they're outside okay. so often. Mm -hmm. yep. And usually that's a dog that basically lives outside. That okay. Way. And that's just my personal opinion. I don't know it was brought in as a stray, but she was pretty wore out, oh. but she's come a long, long way in a short period of time. So. She's very demure. She's young enough to, yeah, yes, yeah. Very, very much so. Very trainable at, at the age of Absolutely. two. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Uh, uh, think it'd be good for a family? Um, I think so. You know, I'm, I'm a firm, I, I believe in pit bulls. Um, I think they get a bad rap. They were originally bred for loyalty. It's well, just they were called the, the nanny. They were called the nanny dog in England, the Staffordshire Terriers. Absolutely, and and that the whole theory and the myth about their jaws locking, it's it's total myth. I just think it's how you raise a dog. It doesn't matter whether you you have a baby Chihuahua, a baby Lab, or a baby Pitbull. It's all in how you train that dog to react to other people in the environment, and that's what you get. So. She's totally relaxed right now. Yeah. Just don't push her chair back. You'll be like little I mean, little I, I, I don't any any <laughs> big dog that comes in a large breed dog. That's a stray, and we know it's great with us, but personally, I shy away from giving it to the family that has a baby in the belly, a one-year-old, a two-year-old, and a three-year-old. I think they should go with a puppy and make that be a part of the growing process. Growing the process of the family. That's, that's yeah. my opinion. A, a child, seven or eight, um, mid-youth type child would be perfect yes, for this dog. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so how can they get the dog? All they have to do is visit the shelter, then go online and see all the different animals we have for adoption. But they come down, they visit the shelter. If they have another dog, we advise you, you have to bring it with you because we have an interaction with your pet and this dog to make sure they get along and all the family members. And we have a big fenced in area where you sit there for as long as you want and get acquainted with that dog and make sure the family members all get along and the other pets get along. And that's, you know, there's a big form you fill out. But we try to put them in a home where they're going to stay. And we they describe all their time. bad attributes as well as the good attributes. And and we're lucky. We, we're very good. Our, our return rate is slim to nothing. So I'm pretty proud of that. And, and, and those who adopt our dogs on the show, and I think of Merle, that was, uh, it was a pit mix, mm -hmm. and he got adopted. And then the guy was foreclosed on because his landlord didn't pay their, the mortgage mm -hmm. on the house. Yeah. He had a move, and, and you described this dog as a couch potato. Yeah. And he was. He never moved. So, and he got a, he wanted Merle to have a good home, and he got a good home, so yep. it's good. And all dogs are like that. Some, some pit bulls are, a lot of the ones we have now are young, and they're, and they're strong. So you should have a fenced-in yard and be willing to take on that responsibility. And you walk into the shelter, and they're... It's hard to showcase dogs in there because the minute they see a citizen walk in, they're all excited and jumping and pick me, look at me. So once you get them outside and take them for a walk, it's a whole different dog. So. Is she as big as she's going to get? Yes, that's yeah. yes. A little fatter, she'll fill somewhere. out some more. Yeah. yeah, but that that's that's about her size right there. So she's mid size. Yes, mid size. Yes, yeah, mid size yeah. mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get Bella. Check her out online. Uh, if you can't get there today and you want to call, what's the number to call? It's six two five six seven two zero. I knew that, I just didn't. And the website's www.awl.org.
and check that out as well. Tom, you got a weather forecast? Yes, I sure do. Hey, well, thanks. Good morning, everyone. Mixture of clouds and sunshine throughout the day with possible showers. Uh, very warm throughout the day as well. Breezy with winds out of the east-northeast at about 15 to 20 miles per hour and highs today 90 to 94. Tonight, partly cloudy, 20% chance of rain in the forecast, low 72 to 76. Wednesday, partly cloudy, 50% chance of rain in the forecast, high 86 to 90. And on Thursday, look out for showers as well. Again, high 86 to 90 degrees. Right off from WCCF, which is official, we are at 73. Thanks, Sharon. Okay, and thank you, guys. Good morning, everybody. We'll be right back after traffic. And Mike's here from Safe Harbor Homes.